One question we always ask is what their favorite hockey memory is, because we wanted it to be a team memory. We wanted a kid to say we won the provincial Pee Wee Championship, or we won the state high school championship in Minnesota, or you know, some, a team memory. We won the, the Pee Wee Tournament in Quebec, um, a team memory. And if you got a guy who said, well, I remember I scored 60 goals in my first year at Bantam, that's probably not a guy who's team oriented. So that's one question we, we always asked, what's your favorite memory as a hockey player? Well, I'm not an intimidating guy. I'm sure they were really comfortable in front of me. I think it depends on the personality. You got GMs who are nice guys, really easy going, like Kenny Holland. I'm sure kids didn't mind his interviews. Brian Burke and Red Wing general manager Ken Holland having a cup of coffee, a little conversation in the press box tonight. I'm sure they minded mine a lot more. Um, I know there were teams that deliberately tried to make their, uh, a couple teams brought in professional questioners to make the, diff the interviews difficult to see if a kid could withstand the stress of a, a hard interview. We had kids leaving in tears from some of them. I didn't see much purpose in that. And I always tried to start with a question that threw the kid off because there's a lot of coaching that goes into this. By the time they get to the combine, there's a lot of stock answers. You know, who's your hero? My dad. Okay, so I'd say to the kid, what kind of watch is that? So he's thinking to himself, well, I can't say it's a Timex, then I'm cheap. And if I tell him it's a Rolex, I'm blowing money on stuff. So he'd be all flustered. Or I'd say, what kind of dog do you have? And he's thinking, well, I can't say, you know, a, a poodle because Brian Burke loves tough hockey. And I, I, I don't know what to say. So I'd get him off guard and then I'd start asking them questions about their family or their hockey. The two worst interviews I had, uh, I'm not going to tell you one of them because he's still playing, but he had a very poor interview and we put him on our do not draft list. So some teams say, this guy's not a good kid, so we won't take him in the first round, but if he's still there in the second round, we'll take him. In my view, he's still a headache for my coach in the second round. He's still a headache for my coach in the third round. We just put him on a do not draft list. I had the worst interview, and I think he's a good kid. I think this was an aberration, was Nail Yakupov. And first off, he seemed insulted that we were interviewing him and we had the fifth pick. And he seemed insulted that, well, I'm not going to be there five. Why are you interviewing me? So it started off poorly. And then John Lilly, one of our scouts, I thought was going to hit him. When he refused to answer a question, I asked him because he didn't like the question. So uh, it was the same questions. You know, it's, it was 18 years talking with a James and scouting, you know. I actually think that Nail Yakupov is a good kid. But that day, he came in sour and it went south fast and we put him on the do not draft list.